I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. Got a beauty today, I got a couple. So I got these pods, I have pods from a bunch of growers right now. And Kevin Bain sent me some and this, just grotesque and gorgeous pepper was among them. This is a requiem, okay? It's a gourmet fatale jigsaw crossed with a grim reaper. So what I was gonna do, I was gonna just do this because it looks like a standalone pepper. I just wanted to see how hot it was. And then I was laying in bed last night and I was starting to think about this again. This is Matthew Arthur's Warthog. It's the hottest pepper I've eaten so far this season. A couple times, it wasn't a one-off, okay? So I wanna make sure, I thought I'd try it one more time. I have one more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this one first. The Requiem, I'm gonna take some pictures because I'm telling you the inside of this is gonna be insane. I'm gonna split it right down this way, okay? So I'm gonna do this one first. And then when it's over, I'm eating another warthog. And we're gonna see, the thing about the warthog that I'm looking for this time isn't even really the heat. It's the quality of the burn. This has done, this pepper, the warthog, on two different occasions, peaked and plateaued for like several minutes. Now, that's unusual. When a pepper peaks, it peaks and immediately begins to decline. That's just what my experience has been with thousands of peppers, okay, on video. But the first time I did this one, I was like, wait a minute. It, it peaked and just stayed there for a while. And that is just the coolest, you know. So the first time it happened, I thought, well, it's maybe it's a one-off or it was a fluke. So I decided to do it again. And you know what? Sure enough, it peaked and plateaued again. That is just a really cool thing. It's, you know. So we're going to do that today. I'm going to take pictures of this and stick it on Instagram because I have a feeling that the inside of this Requiem is going to be something unworldly. All right, so I'm going to split it right down that seam right there. I'm going to show you guys in just a minute. It's like you're cutting a diamond and you got to just get it right. Cut open the warthog. I tell you what, the warthog is the most exciting new super hot that I've eaten in years, like years. I have not, I haven't been this excited about a pepper since the Primatale came around. But I'll tell you something that that hatch, the uh, Maruga hatch that I had yesterday from Kevin Bain, that as far as uh, uh, it's not, I wouldn't say it's a super hot, but. Such a unique pod with flavor and heat. It's incredible. All right, so let me get my uh, camera ready and see what this looks like. Wow. Whew. Look at that. Incredible interior on this. All right, let me take a look at that warthog again. Oh, and it just looks like a warthog. This, there. Very, very, oh, look at that. what a great picture this is going to make, too. All right, so let me show you the interior of the Requiem. Okay, ready? Very, very gnarly looking, contorted, twisted, very solid placenta on this side. It smells very strong. I won't even show you the warthog until I eat this one. But this is a very, very big pepper. It's just a lot to chew. It's probably twice the weight of the, uh, of the warthog. And you have to factor that in with heat, you know what I mean? But anyway, so here we go. See this? It's from Kevin Bain. It's the Requiem. I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat.
Real quickly, a requiem is a musical composition setting parts of the. Uh, uh, okay, requiem was held for the dead queen. It's a mass for the souls of the dead. All right, it was very hot. Um, it was bitter, fruity, bitter. Slightly floral, but more bitter than floral. The floral notes are gone. The bitter is still hanging with me. And about now, the bitter is going away. It's a tongue burner. My throat's not burning at all, but my tongue is sizzling. How odd is that? The last couple days, all the peppers have been attacking my throat, but this, my tongue is sizzling, but my throat's not. So we're gonna let it hang for a little bit to see where it's gonna go. I'll tell you what though, as far as looks, you gotta admit, it is a wicked looking pepper. And it's hot, I'm not, you know, it's very hot. I wouldn't say it's as hot as the Requiem, uh, excuse me, the uh, Warthog, but it's a very, very hot pepper. There's no two ways about it. But it's very odd that it's just sit frying my tongue. It's weird. All right, so here is the interior of the uh, Warthog. We've seen a couple of the last few days. Tell me that's not beautiful, isn't it? How symmetrical that thing is. Very big placenta, decent sized placenta, it's not small, but it's solid. And it's believed for the size of the pepper, it's got a lot of seeds in there. Um, something weird's been happening with me over the last week. I've been eating pods that aren't even, they're hot, but they aren't crazy hot. And my eyes have begun watering which is something that has not happened. It's my left eye is watering right now. Now it's a hot pepper, but it's not hot like, I typically, I never would have thought my eyes would have watered like this, but my left eye is watering. It's very odd. That is an eight to a 10, eight and up. For a chili head, for a non, for excuse me, for a chili head, non chili head need not attempt this one. It would it would probably make you not want to eat a pepper again, and I'd hate to have that happen. So there we go. Um, now it's a migratory burn. That's kind of cool. So initially it was the front of my tongue, just the front portion of my tongue, and now it's creeping back. Now it's on the back of my tongue. Still has that sizzling quality. Sometimes you get this like with a warthog. The last couple times I've been to war a warthog, I get a pulsating burn. Uh, you know what? That's two times in a, two days in a row. Huh? All right, so it's it's definitely on its way down. It's peaked a little while ago. It definitely got to an uh, for me that was a four. And at this stage of the game, a four is a very hot pepper. I'm not sure, this, you know, that was a really hot pepper. I don't think it was Requiem uh, Warthog hot, but if you gave that pepper to somebody and just said, hey, this is the hottest pepper in the world, they believe you. They would, here's the Warthog people. This is from Matthew Arthur. This pepper is a seven pot primo uh, that was crossed with a, I can't remember what he crossed it with. Give me a second, I'll tell you. Wartrix and a Primo, sorry, I should have known that. Wartrix, which is his creation and the Primo. Here we go. My eye. Yeah, boy, my eyes are just watering up a storm right now. It's odd. Okay, so let's see where this goes. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's a big jump in heat. That's a hotter pepper. Um, and the heat that was on the, back of my on the back of my tongue is now just parked in my throat. So all that heat moved right to my throat. And now my throat is just cooking. I'll tell you, those two peppers together are wicked hot together. Yeah, it's definitely that re the uh, requiem is a hot pepper, but that that warthog is just a a different animal. And that's the reason I want to do the uh, requiem first. Because if you do the hotter one first and you do a lesser heat one, it's not quite as easy to detect as if you do a, a, a one that's not quite as hot and a hotter one after. But those that, those are screaming hot peppers. And that the uh, warthog is just a really tough. They're both really really hot peppers. Be interesting to see what they uh, what the scovels are on them. <clears throat> Excuse me, that was a pepper burp. Okay, so it's peaked. Oh. You know what just happened? Ah, it's going up higher. I got a false peak. <sighs> That's such an unusual thing. I bet it's happened less than six times in the 6,000 videos I've made. <clears throat> we have a peak. It peaks and you think it's going to come down and then it goes up again. It's climbing still. Wow. How cool is that? But look at my eyes though, for real. It's making my eyes water. Okay, so now it's kind of plateauing. That's a raging pepper. They're both ferocious. The Requiem is, the what I love about the Requiem, it tastes great, but the look of it, it's one of the coolest looking peppers I've seen in a while. As far as just the phenotype, it's incredible. The Warthog though, my ears are ringing. My ears are burning from two peppers, which means I'm gonna get an endorphin dump from two pods. That's insane. At this stage of the game in the season, that's crazy. All right, so there, it's finally on its way down. That pod climbed, peaked, and came down a little bit, and then climbed some more, and then peaked a little bit, and then came down. <laughs> Two incredible peppers today. I mean, I was excited last night laying in bed, but I'm gonna eat both of those today. Great peppers. Kevin Bain, the Requiem is a spectacular pepper. Looks, flavor, and heat, it's a, a beast. And Matthew Arthur, your warthog is absolutely what I've been thinking it was. People, you need to eat these pods if you get a chance. So in the description box, you're gonna see a link for Kevin Bain and, the, and how to reach Matthew Arthur. Reach out to them, they're wonderful people, incredible growers with great reputations, and they, they grow flame. It was an honor today to eat peppers from them, for real. Uh, the bot, in the description, you'll see Matthew and Kevin. Right here, you're going to see my son, Johnny Scoble Jr., and the lifeboat. And up on top, you're going to see all the challenges I've done and pepperology. Pepperology is geared for brand new people. He'll talk about how to raise your tolerance and how to, uh, you know, different terminology and things you need to know. But thank you, you guys, for those peppers. I'm going to go enjoy. I have a lot of writing to do. My name is Johnny Scoble, and this was Chase the Heat.